Hey there, welcome back. I have an Ipsy Glam Bag and Glam Bag Plus unboxing for March. This has been sitting on my desk for like a week now. Uh, it's a weekend. I can actually film and there's daylight. So let's get into this. I have a feeling it's going to be very much spring and like bright colors inspired just because it is now getting into warmer weather. This is it's been crazy. It's been like 60 degrees out this past week and the week before it was like negatives. Maybe not that cold. It has been in the negatives this winter, but it's been cold and we no longer have snow here in Ohio and that just makes me so happy. And I am ready for spring. It's crazy to think that it has been a year since we had the shutdown happen. So my school where I work at, we've been back full time since August. But I know like some schools, even like 10 miles away from me and 10 miles from our school, still aren't back full time. Like some are just coming back, even partial time and partial virtual. So my job's so much easier with kids in the building. So I've been happy about that. But it's just weird thinking that a year ago, um, we were then shut down and I had three months of completely virtual and counseling virtual is not, it's not ideal, so. I'm happy we're at right now and I'm excited for it just to keep getting better. Let's open this. Before I completely destroy it, some of you like that first inside view. I always start with the Ipsy Glam Bag, which is $12 a month, and then I get into the Ipsy Plus. Stronger together, like Sharon Dion and red lipstick and a cat eye, some things are just better together. Celebrate the people and products that make you look and feel your best. Ipsy, hashtag, Ipsy Stronger Together. This last year, I've really not worn makeup much at all. So if anything, I'm almost craving putting makeup on again. But I, I don't even remember how to do a full face of makeup. Like, I struggle. And I'm like, what step in order did I used to do? It's like, on a given day, I don't have any makeup on. March is very much a female-centered month. Uh, this is the bag. It has uh, women all over. It's actually a really cute bag. It has that like fake leather feel. Rot inside. What kind of accent is that? I don't know. I apologize. <laughs> this is a highlighter it looks like. We are definitely loving highlights. I haven't used it in a while, but in summertime, like even if I'm not wearing makeup, sometimes I'll still put on like a really subtle highlighter. Just to just, I mean, obviously highlight my face, but make me look a little more alive and have a little dimension to it. This is by St. Lux, and I have not heard of that brand before. It so far looks like it's going to be nice. Like the package itself looks expensive. Hopefully it's something not crazy color. Oh, that's very neutral. This is just like a nice rose gold color. I'm not going to touch it. I have like a billion highlighters in reserve. There is an olive bear in the background. Um, and I started a little take what you need hallway. Like outside my door, there's just a bunch of little bins with like school supplies, makeup, uh, hygiene products, like whatever. And kids can just come in and take it without asking. So I have a stash of like a little bit of makeup. And I love giving anything that I'm like, maybe I don't need that or I won't be able to go through it. I'll put it in there. So. I'm going to reserve this for that, but it is very pretty and I'm sure it would look pretty on. The next thing is by Araceli. This is a liquid eyeliner. Yeah, I will definitely be keeping this. I can never have enough liquid eyeliners. I really enjoy the uh, $2 liquid eyeliners from, what is that brand? It's... Uh, Mm, you can get it at any drugstore, pretty much, Ulta. I don't know why I'm blinking on it. I literally have not worn <laughs> eyeliner in over a year, so I forget what uh, products I even use. But I hope to use that. My birthday's coming up in a few weeks. We're going to Gatlinburg, so hopefully I'll <laughs> put makeup on once. I don't, maybe I won't. The next thing is by, ooh, Kat Van D. That came out weird too. KBD is what she calls it now. Cat, whoa, Cat Von D makeup. Um, this oh, it's a locket translucent powder. 
this is a very good powder i do have again a lot of powders and reserves that i just have not used and i know i love this i actually had a full size of it but that's going to go to the hallway too and then by celia which we had a full size lotion from them last month and <laughs> the glam bag plus this is the seed to skin scrub so a natural grain polish and you just use this in the shower and whatnot or on your hands on the sink um definitely something that is useful for me especially in the winter time just because my necks get so dry and so do just my legs just yeah i mean my shins even get very dry um so yes that was the ipsy glam bag favorite product definitely gonna go the eyeliner because <laughs> i do miss the putting eyeliner on and like making my eyes look alive and having mascara on when you have blonde eyelashes it just does not work out well the next portion which i am biased but it's my favorite portion is the glam bag plus and that's because we have a lot of full-size products in here and i'll have everything linked down below as well especially if like this is somehow your first time hearing about ipsy or ipsy glam bag plus my heart loves it. Um, ooh, the first thing is, I'm thinking some of this is for Ipsy OS creators because Refreshments typically does, like, their added bonus for us. Let me make sure it's not anywhere, so. Mm -hmm. I don't know if... I'll do these three first. I don't know if they are actually part of the Glam Bag Plus. I'm thinking they're probably just extra, so we'll do them. So, refreshments. They usually send at least one product every month. I'm obsessed with them and their packaging. It's always just adorable. Um, last month, we got a shaving kit, which I've been using now. It's just... It feels high quality. Like, you feel fancy using. I don't know how else to describe it. Like, a little bougie. Uh, this is the Breezy Deodorant and Unscented... I love me having a deodorant everywhere. So like at school I have one, in my gym bag I have one, at home I have one. I'm always going through them. So I'm always appreciative of them. And this is, it says breezy, but no, it actually does not have a scent. I was thinking it'd have some sort of like lakey smell. Okay, okay. I'm assuming this is probably paraben and aluminum okay so it's aluminum free Whew. aluminum free and baking soda free leaves you feeling extra fresh and it's a sparkling clean promise vegan free of parabens some other things that can't say sulfate it's free of like a lot of stuff um oh and they sent a lavender splash scent as well i'll probably put one of these in my hallway just because i probably don't need two right now i don't know yeah one of them will go um i don't, you just need to check them out like it's always the cutest stuff this is pearly body wash and citrus spritz let's smell ya if we can it has a lid on it so it's not gonna go but i have a feeling it's gonna be nice i'm still going through i go through a huge dove sensitive skin body wash so it'll be a while before I can touch that um moving on no oh my gosh is this what I think it is oh no it's not but still the brand way is like my favorite the way beach spray you spray it in to like even dry I use it on dry hair I think you're supposed to use it on dry hair it just gives you the prettiest like you've been surfing at the beach and it's I don't know how to subscribe it's my favorite wave spray in the world but it's like $30 for a little bottle uh, this is the leave-in conditioner. I have not tried this yet, but I know that I like this brand, so I am definitely willing to try you. And I'm definitely willing to have a breakout session. I'm having one right now. No big deal. I just, I did change my hair, shampoo, and conditioner. Every time I change it up, my skin just freaks out, but I'm trying to get it to adjust. Worst case, I'll just be broken out while I'm using it. Then by Mills, there's this Florence Gloia Lip Oil. That is a strange name for this. Oh my gosh, this is cute. So it's just a little lip oil. Let's see. Oh. Ooh. 
silky. It feels good. There's zero, zero bits of it that is sticky. So if you're someone that like, I hate stickiness, um, you will like that. Hmm. Apply whenever your lips are thirsty for moisture. Because I'm addicted to chapstick, they are never thirsty, but I always like having that shiny gloss on it. I have been not made a fan of, but just like in a joking way, like just been called like lip gloss girl <laughs> and like other, like on my sorority, one of the awards I got most pop in lip gloss. People just know if you're my friend, like I am going to have cha cherry chapstick or lip gloss on my lips. Just a thing. By Co-Life, this is the Vita C Brightening Cleanser. I'm all about vitamin C on my face. Like it just, the uh, Glow Recipe Vitamin C in the Little Pineapple is my favorite serum. Like I'll use it through the summer as a moisturizer. It just, my skin loves it. And my skin is really picky and does not love a lot of things. So when I find something like that, I get just stoked. And I think in general, vitamin C, my skin just likes it. So I'm willing to try out other things. And I have, like, I use Pixie's um, vitamin C serum. My skin loved that one too. This is a cleanser. So apply a few pumps into palm. I'm assuming it foams up. Massage into damp skin, rinse thoroughly with warm water. I'm willing to try this for sure. I'm excited about that. My love for vitamin C, you have no idea. Oh. It Cosmetics. Okay, I really need to do a brush declutter because I have so many really amazing ones now. This is the Heavenly Skin Skin Smoothing Complexion Brush. So this would be great for a liquid foundation. Forgot that word. Foundation. Also another thing I have not used. So I'm excited for this. And I have a foundation brush that is should have been probably tossed out a while ago. So when I do my makeup again, hopefully I'll toss it. But I struggle. Well, you know when you love something, it's just hard. The Tarte Kabuki brush, I use it with wet foundations. Mm. Um, ooh, lastly, but definitely probably not least, this is a <laughs> makeup palette by MBY Makeup Studio, Shades by Shan, San Francisco. The neutral edition, I like what I'm hearing. Very matte case. Oh, wow. I don't think I would ever need a different shade in here. Maybe one light glitter shade. But look at that palette. I need to go through my makeup palettes and get rid of some because when I see palettes like this, I'm like, I could literally just only use you and be perfectly fine and use you as a eyeliner. You know? Oh, these are funny wifey, dreamer, moxie, self-made, girl boss. I like those. Those shade names. Okay. That was everything. Except for, of course, they have a little, um, they always have like a similar glam bag plus bag. Has little women on it. That's so cute. I love it. My favorite thing in the glam bag plus is going to go to... The eyeshadow palette. I can't say no to that. That is so... I loved all of it. Actually, there's not a single thing in here that I'm like, no thank you. I don't know. I think the whole month, like, and there were very, like, poppy springtime colors, which makes me happy. And even though the eyeshadow palette wasn't very spring, it's just like, it's an all year round one. What are you doing, kitty? Anywho, love you guys. Let me know in the comments below if you got different items and you probably definitely did because no one like, I just say no one gets the same thing. Most people get different things in it. Um, and other than that, I better go let the cat out and then go to the gym because it's going to close here in like two hours. So love you so much. See you soon. Bye. Wolzers. I almost went away and realized I was Definitely another product at the bottom that I didn't see by Haas Laboratories. This feels like a lipstick. Yep, it is. It's in the color Burlesque, which makes me think it's red. Last month, we got two red lipstick. Whoa, this is a heavy, heavy package. Like, if you want to think expensive materials, that is this lipstick. I don't think I've felt more of a... 
a heavier lipstick in my life, actually. <laughs> Ooh, oh. It's like, what? You guys just have to see this. It's all glittery. I hope you can see that. It looks really pretty, but it's like a ruby red glitter lipstick, which makes sense, I guess, why it's called burlesque. What? I'm definitely putting this in my hallway because prom, and actually, our school's doing prom and homecoming both in April. No, that's a lie. March, end of March is homecoming, and then like middle of April, so like within a couple weeks, we're having two school dances. So I know someone's going to want this. <laughs> and they shall have it. And now it's actually time to go. Okay, love you, bye.